All right, so today I'm doing rough in wiring for the Humvee before I go to the installation step and get the seat frames welded up that'll support the seats that are going in here. The uh, crossbar has been removed, so I'll make something that basically doesn't eliminate foot room, but gets some kind of reinforcement built and some height to it underneath the seat where it won't interfere with your feet, but it'll give you some uh, rigidity in in the vertical compared to not having that crossbar there anymore um, these seats are out of a junkyard they are bmw 745 li seats and they're pretty high tech i guess they've got um, the airbag modules which we've already removed and uh, heat cool and air con or heated air condition and massage functions so that'll be pretty cool if i get that all working and i think i've got all the modules together for that so stay tuned that'll be a future video but right now I'm just setting up everything for the additional systems that I want. And uh, what I'm doing here is labeling everything uh, with a label maker and just putting uh, these wires with enough extra length that I can get those wired up to what they need to connect to and run along the floor and the supports and, and the, the uh, rounding that they need. So uh, this one, for example, is the passenger seat power. Um, I've got two wires there and that's how each seat sets up. So I'll probably splice off of this to go to the rear seat as well. This is for the cabin lights, um, which I've got some LEDs that are very low voltage, um, which will be red and white um, with a toggle switch that I can, I can go between red or white interior lights and that will uh, light up the floorboards and everything so you can find things on the floor. Um, let's see here, start, go around the back here. So, these, these are all the original um, wire connections for the running lights and the tail lights here on the truck. And what I did was uh, left the end connections on them and they're all individually labeled. Uh, you see that one's like 23 Delta. So with each of those, I was able to actually make a 12 volt, um, I guess you can call it a sender or something, but basically it's just a phone charger or in this case, a router adapter. This one says it's 12 volt output. So with a voltmeter, I was able to find which was the power line, which was the uh, return, and just put some alligator clips on it. And that way I can apply 12 volt power to any lights or any wires that I want to test to identify and allows me to do that without blowing them up um, or putting too much voltage to them. So with each of these, um, these lights back here, I would go up to the front at the wire bundle that I thought um, connected to them. And I'll show you that real quick. Um, I cut that when removing the engine and making a whole bunch of space. But basically that bundle is right here and it runs on the, between the frame rail and the body on the driver's side of the, the vehicle and was able to identify basically the, the labels for, there we go, um, identify each of the, the labels on the wire in the back so that I can match them later and set them up for uh, the functionality that they'll need. Then here you have um, all the wires and there's extra length here of course, but these are running up to there on the shelf where I'll be putting my fuse block and relay block. Um, so all the functions are labeled, but they're not connected to anything yet and that'll be a little bit down the road. Um, see if I can show you under here without having to climb under the car again, but you can pretty much see that along the frame rail, I was able to run the wires through the numerous existing holes. Um, these ones up front will run right over the back of the tunnel here, I guess, or the back of where the doghouse fastens. Um, that'll help them get across and not interfere with, uh, with anything that could uh, hold them up or cause problems. And then on this side, let's see, this is, I'm sitting basically in the driver's position here and I've got uh, wires coming out all from, from this hole, uh, which is about where the passenger seat is. These will power the, uh, the, the seat. This one, let's see, will be, uh, yeah, the cab lights for uh, red and white. Um, 
this one here is running to the back and I'll figure that out for a bed light later. And I've also got this guy, which is running up through, uh, behind, uh, not in, well, I guess, yeah, in the wheel well up behind that, um, the, uh, support you see there and then up into the C pillar coming out right there. Um, same thing here, I've gone up, this will run along the floor and then up the B pillar to, uh, white right along here for both red and white, which is nice. This is a multiple strand wire and it's just going to a low voltage LED. So that should take care of itself. Um, we got a couple more things to do with like the air compressor, which will be higher voltage. So I haven't run that wire yet and I've got to get some bigger wire to do that, um, just to be safe. And then there will be some other accessories, um, doing like an all glass cockpit with, uh, iPads or tablets or whatever you want to call them for the displays here. And I haven't really figured that out yet, but it's a pretty short path to wire from the other side of this into this, uh, this area here. So that won't take so long later and it won't matter if the fuel tanks back in and drivetrain and all that, it won't really be in the way. So, um, anything that I can do later, I'm just kind of doing later for now. I'm trying to get all the wiring in that I can cover up or secure or, um, Otherwise, just kind of get squared away after I've got the floor insulation put in. So that'll be the next step and I'm um, fabricating up these uh, seat supports so I can get these first two seats in. And then of course the search continues for the rear seats, but it should be uh, pretty high tech at the end. I'll have some kind of toggle switch to go red to white um, for the interior lights and also to, to manually use those and then set them up on a switch with the doors being open just like a regular car. So. Um, it'll be kind of, uh, kind of low tech, but, but kind of cool at the same time, but pretty straightforward.